y'all get structured because I did something like that. And even if y'all ain't structured, I'm still willing to c*** with y'all. But if y'all more structured, it's easier for me to and give y'all more opportunities to get money because there's money out here, cuz, on the other side and the right side. And it's, it is what it is, cuz. This is a strap. It's a gun. AK-47, KT, 9mm, 9mm handgun, 4-5. We can't deal with you. Hey, what I saying that? Long Beach, California, a city with a history that stretches back to the Tongva people and has evolved through the Spanish and Mexican periods to become a modern economic hub, is not only known for its significant contributions to the port and oil industries, but also for its cultural richness, including landmarks like the RMS Queen Mary and the Aquarium of the Pacific. Amidst this backdrop of historical and cultural wealth, Long Beach has also witnessed the emergence and growth of various gang factions, notably among them, the Crips. Originating in Los Angeles in the late 1960s, the Crips have since branched out into numerous sets, each with its unique identity, yet united under the overarching Crip affiliation. In Long Beach, these sets have etched their territories and narratives into the city's social fabric, with no presence of blood sets in the city further emphasizing the dominance of Crip sets in the area. Hey! Oh, yeah. 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 The Rolling 80s West Coast Crips are mainly an African-American gang on the west side of Long Beach, California. They started around the Springdale West Apartments at Spring Street and Santa Fe in Long Beach. They are part of the larger Rollinos Crips group and are connected to the neighborhood Crips. The West Coast Crips like to wear clothes from the Dallas Cowboys football team, along with the usual blue color that Crips wear. They were known for being very violent in the 1980s and 1990s. SD the MC is a rapper from West Long Beach, and he's connected to the Rolling 80s Crips gang. He's well known for being part of the LBC movement in 2015, which Snoop Dogg started. This music project brought together rappers from different areas in Long Beach that usually don't get along, like the Rolling Twenties Crips, Insane Crips, and Brick By Crips. The Rollin' Eighties group is friends with several other groups like the Rolling Twenties Crips, Rolling Thirties Harlem Crips, Rolling Sixties Crips, Rolling Nineties Crips, and all the neighborhood Crips gangs. The Mag Mafia Crips, also called the Double M Gang, are a group mostly made up of African-American members and are found in North Long Beach, California. Their area is around a street called Anti Street, sitting between two avenues named Obispo and Downey. They are known as a North Side Gang because their area is in the northern part of Long Beach. Members of the Mac Mafia Crips like to wear hats from the Milwaukee Brewers baseball team because the hats have a big M on them, which stands for the first letter of their gang's name. The Mag Mafia Crips say they are from the north side because they are located in the northern part of Long Beach. They are part of a bigger Crip umbrella called the Mafia Crips, which also includes other groups like the Boulevard Mafia Crips, the Blue Gate Mafia Crips, and the Beachtown Mafia Crips. Even though this group is smaller than some other gangs in Long Beach, they are known for being very active in the northern area of the city. The Mag Mafia Crips are friends with all the groups that are part of the Mafia Crips like the Boulevard Crips, Main Street Mafia Crips, and the 99 Watts Mafia Crips. They also have a special friendship with the original Hood Crips and the Boulevard Mafia Crips, and together they call themselves MOB, which stands for Mafia Original Boulevard. Where we at, bro? Where we at, bro? Hey, where we at, bro? Where we at? Y'all know where we at. Where we at? Look around. We at Ramona Park. The North Side Brick by Crips are a small Crip gang mainly made up of African-American members in North Long Beach, California. Their main area is around the Carmelitos housing projects on Viawanda Avenue. The Brick by Crips have two main sets, called the Carmelitos and 52nd Street, which is also known as a Five Deuce Brick by Crips or the 50s. They hang out in a part of Long Beach often called Uptown Long Beach. This area includes places like Bixby Knolls and California Heights. Members of this gang like to wear clothes with the Boston Red Sox logos to show they are part of the gang. Jubaloke is a rapper from North Long Beach. He's part of the Brick by Crips gang. He also worked with Snoop Dogg on a music project called the LBC Movement. 
This project brings together rappers from different areas of Long Beach, including the Rolling Twenties Crips, Rollin ADS, and the Insane Crips, to make music together. The Brick By Crips are allies of the Mac Mafia Crips and the Carver Park Compton Crips. The North Side Original Hood Crips are a well-known Crip gang in North Long Beach, California. They started in the early to mid-1980s around the area of 60th Way and White Avenue, near Ardija Boulevard and 69th Street. The original Hood Crips share their area with the Boulevard Mafia Crips. This gang's members like to wear blue and gold colors. They have groups based on streets like 69th, 68th, and 67th, all around Butler Avenue. The Ohud Gang is friends with the Mac Mafia Crips, Boulevard Mafia Crips, and the Brick By Crips. Together, they are known as Mob. Suck, huh? You talk holding out, huh? Look, little homies up to no good. Back to back, leaving a narrow track for perpetrating MC to try to pick up the slack. You got a ways to go before you blend with the flow like in a tick. You got Jack, now I'm rocking it back to back. The Sons of Samoa Crips is a group mainly made up of Polynesian and Samoan members that started in East Long Beach, California in the early to mid 1980s. They are one of the first Polynesian gangs to be in Long Beach. The Sons of Samoa Crips were shaped by other street gangs and chose to join the Crips. They have smaller sets within them called East Side Dogs 10th Street, Suicidal Gang 15th Street, and West Side Seawees Trey Life 32nd Street. Their area goes from Wardlow Street to Willow Street, and from Webster Avenue to the 710 Freeway. They are friends with the Inglewood Tonga Crips Gang. They also get along with groups called the United Samoan Organization and the Asian Boys Crips. The East Side Long Beach Filthy Crips is a predominantly African-American gang located on the east side of Long Beach, particularly around 19th Street and Locust. The North Side Boulevard Crips, also just called Boulevard Crips, are a Crip gang from North Long Beach, California. They started in the early 1980s. They are also known as a Dead End Gang because their main area is on streets that end in dead ends near Long Beach Boulevard. The Boulevard Mafia Crips first called the Boulevard Boy Crips or Boulevard Boys, are one of the oldest and biggest Crip gangs in North Long Beach. They have different sections known as cliques, like 68th Street, 68th Way, 69th Street, and 69th Way. All these sets together are often called the 60s. In the 1990s, the group changed their name by removing Boy and adding Mafia to become part of the Mafia Crips. Members of the Boulevard Mafia Crips like to wear light blue bandanas and baseball caps from the Boston Red Sox with a B on them, which stands for Boulevard. The Boulevard Mafia Crips are friends with the Mac Mafia Crips and the original Hood Crips. They have a special friendship called MOB, which stands for Mafia Original Boulevard, and this includes the Brick by Crips too. Go, I'm record you. Open that up. Go. Hey. Hey. <laughs> It's right inside, guys! Hey! Hey, let me see what it says, let me see what it says. Get your picture, get your picture. Harry, tell your birthday in your life. Oh, it's it. Yo! Yo! Yo. <laughs> Don't drink that! Don't drink that! The first Asian boys gang started in Long Beach, California in the late 1980s. It was made up of people who came from countries in Southeast Asia. The people who started the Asian boys in Long Beach were Cambodian refugees who had trouble with another group called the East Side Longos during the 1980s. There's some debate about how the gang really started because it was more like a bunch of smaller groups coming together rather than just one new group starting. The Cambodian part of the Asian boys is especially well known and has its own unique place within the larger Crips gang group, partly because the members come from a different background. The Naughty Nasty Gangster Crips are mostly an African-American gang in North Long Beach, California, around Ramona Park. They started in the early 1990s along Obispo Avenue, between Ardesia Boulevard and Poppy Street. 
The Naughty Nasty Crips mainly wear brown and are part of the Trey Gangster Crips group. Rappers Vince Staples and Joey Fats, who grew up in this gang's area, are part of a music group called the Cutthroat Boys. The third member of their group, Aston Matthews, is linked to the Pyrus gang. The Naughty Nasty Gangster Crips are allies of gangs under the Trey Gangster Crips. C Dog, uh, ain't about nothing but the homeboy C Dog being sent off the right way, uh, the appropriate way. Me as a dub, I watch the hood and I watch get sent off the right way and how we don't really show no love. Dead. If that's alive, need to get that real love. That's a real G homie girl that need to get love. So what I figured was the day we could come together and show some love, love, and be out here organized and get cuss and love and send him off the right way. So yeah, rolling. Little homie in the cut. Alright, do it, Police! Down! 985 crib, we outside, nigga! You can put on some jeans. That's it, crazy, ain't it, man? Alright, they got 2.0 junk off that. They got tiny over here, actually. Like, ass, though. You know what I'm saying? The Rolling Twenties Crips are a big Crip gang in East Side Long Beach, California, mostly found south of 21st Street, east of Long Beach Boulevard, and west of Orange Avenue. They like to wear black and gold, the main colors of the Pittsburgh Steelers and the New Orleans Saints football teams. Members of the Rolling Twenties Crips often get tattoos of the Steelers logo, which makes it easy for other gangs to recognize them. They have different groups based on streets like 21st, 20th, 19th, 17th, 15th, 11th, and 10th. The Rolling Twenties Crips became very famous worldwide, especially in Long Beach, because they were mentioned in the news a lot and being linked to the famous rapper Snoop Dogg. Other well-known musicians connected to this gang include Nate Dogg, Daz from the Dog Pound, Goldie Loke from the East Siders, and C-Note and Domino, also known as Genu in Draft, from the group Bloods and Crips. The Rolling Twenties Crips are friends with another group called the Rolling Eighties West Coast Crips, who are in the west side of Long Beach. At first, the Twenties Crips and another set called the Insane Crips were close and acted as one big team. But in the 1980s, they stopped being allies because they disagreed over who should control the area south and north of 21st Street. The Rolling Twenties wanted the south side and the Insanes wanted the north. <laughs> the Insane Crips, <laughs> that's the most notorious gang to come off the east side of Long Beach. And I'm not hey, look, fresh out, not even been out, but he's been out. Do you hear me? Only been out yeah. for 60 days. This is not 60 days worth of work. This is five. This is two days worth of work. You hear me? Hey, let, let him know something, son. The Insane Crips Gang is the biggest African-American gang on the east side of Long Beach, California. They started around 21st Street and Lewis Avenue in central Long Beach and spread to nearby areas. This gang is part of a group called Trays and they like to wear clothes with the Oakland Raiders black and gray colors. The Insane Crips have three main groups. The first one, called the Big Insane Crips, has the original members and is based on 21st Street. The second group, the Young Foundation Crew, came next and has members from the second wave. The third group, known as the Baby Insanes or Baby Insane Crips, started in the early 1990s on 23rd Street in Long Beach. The Baby Insane group within the Insane Crips likes wearing Cleveland Indians gear, especially in red. A famous rapper, Trady from the East Siders, which includes Snoop Dogg and Goldie Loke, Newer rappers from this gang include Savvy Third and DW Flames. The Insane Crips also created a subgroup called 21st Young Guns Crips in Lancaster, California. The Insane Crips and the Rolling Twenties Crips used to be close friends in Long Beach, connected by their neighborhood and families. But in the 1980s, disagreements and arguments broke their friendship, leading to fights between both groups. The city of Long Beach, with its rich history, culture, and economic prowess, also hosts a complex network of crip sets, each contributing to the intricate mosaic of gang dynamics within the city. From the Mag Mafia Crips in North Long Beach to the iconic Rollin' Twenties Crips with connections to notable figures like Snoop Dogg, 
and the insane Crips gang known for their extensive territory and influence. These groups have carved their identities within the urban landscape. While the city celebrates its vibrant heritage and tourist attractions, the presence of these gangs serves as a reminder of the ongoing challenges and narratives that are woven into the very fabric of Long Beach's community. As we reflect on the city's journey from its indigenous roots to its current status, it's essential to acknowledge the multifaceted nature of Long Beach, where cultural richness and gang affiliations coexist, shaping the city's identity in the 21st century.